you have full control over the way lights affect the objects in your scene. And I thought we could take a look at a really handy option that allows us to exclude lights from objects in the scene. So first let's start. We've just got two lights in the scene, two area lights. And I'm going to do a quick render with F9. Okay. And I've decided that I want to um, light up uh, get a little more light in this area. So what I'll do is I'm just going to slide this out of the way and I'm going to add another light. So item, add lights. And I'm going to add a point light and I'm just going to call this um, front. Okay, let me move this up. I'm going to kind of move it into place a little bit. Okay. And let's go over to its properties and I'm going to set the intensity to 75 and I'm going to pick something other than white. I'm really not a big fan of working with white light. So I'm just going to give a slightly warm light there. And let's take a look at the, the new render. Okay, bring that over. And well, I like what it's doing to this back. Uh, but I don't like that this is blowing out, okay? So I'm just using page up and page down to kind of compare my renders. Yeah, so I don't really want it affecting this at all. I just want it affecting this. So we have full control over that. So I'm going to slide this out of the way again. And with this light selected, I'm going to go over to Objects. And I'm going to exclude. You can actually see it in OpenGL. Watch this object right here. I'm going to exclude. See, now it's not affecting that, but it's still affecting that. If I excluded the back coin, um, it would not affect that. Now it would just be affecting the uh, ground plane. Okay, so now with, um, with that excluded, let's bring this back over and do a render. Okay, so now this was the original, and look at the, the coin here. I'm going to jump to here and see that it's affecting this but it's not affecting this like it was here okay so by excluding this object it allowed me to paint with light and just paint it in this area and not have it well, it's affecting the ground plane as well if we go to the original this is much uh, darker and now it's much brighter but it's not affecting this coin so all I have to do to exclude light from an object is come over to the light properties panel and under objects put a check mark activate the exclude option for that for that object I can also let me close this down I can also go over to the object and right now I've got the back coin selected object properties and under the lights tab I can exclude lights from that object. So I can do it in either place. So I could do it if I want an object in the scene and, and it's easier to just uncheck a bunch of lights instead of going into each light and checking that object. Um, I can just come over here and do that here. The thing to remember <laughs> is that you've actually done it because what you don't want to do is um, exclude lights from an object forget that you've done it and you keep adjusting the light properties and you keep moving the light around and, and you, you can't see a, a difference. I've seen lots of uh, artists do that. So just keep in mind if you have to leave a little side note or something that you have excluded the, the object from the lights so that you, uh, you don't um, uh, waste a lot of t time trying to track down why the light's not, not working properly. So I found this option to be uh, amazing at controlling the lights in my scene. You're actually doing something that, that you wouldn't do in the real world, but uh, that's the kind of the beauty of working in 3D is that we can do things you can't do in the real world and get gain full control over our, uh, over our scene. So again, we can, um, we can exclude lights from an object in the Lights tab for Object Properties, or if we come over to the Light Properties, we come over to the Objects tab and we can exclude objects from the light here.